what is up everybody today we got a different video yeah it's not supreme i guess that's different for you guys because usually it's just straight supreme i don't know i've become just a supreme boy i'm sorry i'm trying to branch out it's just difficult in these hard times anyway uh we have a shoe video for the first time since the jonah hills like a week ago i know shocking um but this is the first yeezy i've bought in Jesus, I don't even know. I whenever I got the um the Citrons, I think was the last I think the Citrons were the last pair of Yeezys I got, actually. So if that tells you anything, that how long ago those came out, that's the last time I bought a pair of Yeezys. Uh it's been a while. Not without not I mean not from lack of trying, trust me. I every time a one comes out that I want, I go for it and it just I just can't ever seem to freaking get them. Um anywho we went to a local resale shop because I got a pair of these in stock. I've been looking for a pair of V3s in general for a while now. The Azales or the Albas. And uh, they had they got these. They were a decent price. They were pre-owned. But like pretty base, basically almost dead stock from at least when I grabbed them. Obviously I've worn them like two or three times since then. But they were pretty much dead stock when I grabbed them. Um, they were like 430 I think. Which is, I mean that's a lot. Yes, but... Yeah, I mean, like, that's what they're going to be. They're basically a brand new silhouette. There's only been two colorways of them. Um, but I wanted a pair of black Yeezys for a while. Alvas are perfect. They're triple black, so it's like, that works great for me. I love the glow in the dark. We're going to get into all that, though. Um, we have here the Yeezy 700 V3 Alvas. Uh, here's the box, in case you want to see it. I know y'all like to legit check me even though it's been like 40 years since i've made these videos so you should probably know that it's legit um size 11s i've heard i heard when i went up there that these fit big um so that's why i went to size that was fine with going up to size 11 um i think that's kind of true i don't know how tight they would be if they were size 10 and a half the size 11 11 works perfectly fine for me though so like i have no no issues at all um let me just grab both of them and the tag so you can see it here's the tag um this was already detached when i grabbed these it was just kind of floating in the box so i'm just gonna throw it back in the box let's go back up in the closet because i keep these in my clear plastic bins that are sitting next to me and here it is the easy v3 easy 700 v3 alvas um really 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 dope shoe um this probably comes in a close second for me in terms of 700 all of them my favorite ones the wave runners will probably always be my favorite v3 or 700s these are a really close second um i like the azales but i think this just just the triple black it's really nice it's really subtle um and then when these bad boy cages glow in the dark it is mm, it is just awesome um, I really like the futuristic look they have, kind of like a streamlined look they have. Um, there's the bottom with the boost. I think it's that boost and I'm still, if I'm not mistaken. Um, who knows? Uh, but yeah, I really like these shoes. Really comfortable. Um, really easy to wear because like I said, since they're black, they basically go with like almost every single outfit. You can't go wrong with them. Here's the other one. Um this one i think was the one that was no this one so when i got them this one was factory laced or someone tried to do factory lacing again so i really like this look with the factory lacing so i just went ahead and tried to replicate it mine are a little bit bigger but that's okay they're still technically the same um factory lacing kind of setup um really comfortable overall um getting into them is not too bad i've sometimes i've heard people be like oh it's really hard to get into them it's like i mean you just have to kind of open it up a little bit but it's nothing crazy like i'm assuming the fear of gods are way worse than these um would ever be um super low key with the branding too the only thing you saw on here is this little heel thing as an adidas and it's only adidas it doesn't say yeezy on it anywhere um because even the insoles only say ortholite in them they don't say yeezy on them um but yeah, like I said, got them for a good price, in my opinion. Uh, I've been wanting a pair of V3s for quite a while because I wanted to complete it. So now I have Yeezy 3700 V1, 2, and 3. 
Um, so I'm really happy about that to have all three of those. Um, I'm sure someday in the future, I will try to get the easy 350 V1 too, and then if they ever come out the V3, because um, I have the easy 700, or you have the easy 350 V2 and the 380s. So I guess those are kind of like brother and sister shoes because it's 380, 350, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I would try to get these to go in the dark, but it's going to take me a second. But like, let me see if I can just kind of, I don't know if, I don't even know if it'll pick it up on the camera or not. You can, walk, you can look at this while I'm doing it. Like I said, really nice. I wish there was more 3M because the only 3M hits on it are the toes. I don't know if you can see that those little uh those little tiny silver things those are the 3m accents right, so this should glow in the dark i don't know if this will pick it up or not oh yeah it does so that's when it glows in the dark um it works extremely quickly actually surprisingly like um when you're standing outside i didn't get this side as much but um when you're standing outside i mean usually when i go outside and then I come into a dark place or I sit down in the car. I mean, I've usually I've only been outside for, I don't know, like 30, 45 seconds and it's already glowing in the dark. Um, so with UV activation from the sun, it's, it's, it's pretty quick. Um, a phone will obviously take a little bit longer cause it's, you only have like a little tiny spot. Whereas the sun is just like everywhere. Um, but it's, it's really nice. It looks really dope uh, when you're walking into a dark place with your shoes on and they're just glowing in the dark. It's, it's, it sounds childish it probably is but it's I, I find that really cool about these shoes um but yeah just like i said overall a really nice pair of shoes really comfortable really easy to wear um i'm thinking about taking a disney trip this year um and these are some of the shoes i'm thinking about bringing to wear just because they're so low-key they won't get super dirty because they're black so and glow in the dark i mean kids will be like why these shoes glow in the dark i'll be like yeah kid Go pay $400 for them. You can do it too. Um, but that is it for today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing something different other than Supreme. Uh, I miss I miss getting new shoes. It's been a while. Like I said, it's not for lack of trying. It's just I've literally just had the worst luck getting shoes for retail ever. The Jonah Hills are the first shoes I've bought for retail that are hype in forever. I mean... Yeah, like literally forever since since the Citrons. The Citrons were probably basically like the last hype shoe I was able to buy for retail. Um, hopefully that changes. Hopefully something will change this year, and I'll start getting more because there's some there's another pair of V3s that are coming out. Um, the Seraphims, which are like yellow, those would be dope to have too. Um, not gonna lie. So we'll see about those. They're restocking the breads later this year. The V2 breads. Um, the 350 v2 breads during like holiday season really hoping it goes that's like the one pair of 350s that i've wanted forever like when i first started collecting shoes that's like basically like one of my grails is the three the 350 v2 breads um i'm sure there's other shoes that are coming out that i'm missing i'm sure there'll be some off-whites i'm sure there'll be <clears throat> dunks i'm sure there'll be stuff that i want we'll see we'll see how the rest of the year goes until then we're, uh, you're stuck with me getting one pair of shoes every like six months. So here you go. Here's your one pair of shoes for this next six months. The V3 Alphas. Um, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go and drop a like on it. I would appreciate it. Uh, it'd mean a lot. Show you guys the support for me. Um, comment. What do you think about the Easy 700 V3 Alphas? Do you like these or do you like the Azales better? Go and let me know in the comment section below. I do read all of them. I do respond to all of them. I like seeing what you guys have to say about certain things. And then uh, subscribe to stay up to date on everything I do upload. Like I said, hopefully there's more videos coming out. I know, I mean, I know there's more videos coming out, but hopefully there's going to be new. I'm going to get more stuff in the coming weeks. Um, I got a hoodie coming in from, uh, I don't know if I already said, 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves hoodies coming in. Really excited about that. Um, I'm going to have an A24 unboxing of a couple different things that I've bought over the past couple weeks. Um, but I mean, other than that, I think that's pretty much it for right now. Obviously things change. I might buy something here in like two days and then that'll come in and I'll have another video. And that's just how it works. But um for now, expect a couple more videos. Um for sure. Uh thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys are still doing okay. Hope you're social distancing, all that crap, wearing a mask. Please wear a mask. Let's not go backwards, let's go forwards. 
because I would like to go to movie theaters here soon and go watch movies with people that enjoy watching movies. Looking at you, Christopher Nolan, you need to release to that now. I'm tired of waiting for this crap. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one, and peace out.